Hi, this is Paul from Outer Loop Coaching and OuterloopCoaching.com. I'm with you in this video to talk about our indie labels accepting demos. And the answer is, yeah. So I'm gonna talk about what that means in just a minute. Before I do, like the video, please, so other people can find it. Send me a comment down below. I just wanna know, did I not answer a question you have? If you have that question, put it down below. I'll be happy to answer it to you in the comments below the video. Subscribe and hit the little bell so you get an alert every time I put a new video and I got new videos coming to you all the time. Now you're probably wanting to know whether you can submit your demo to an indie label because you wanna get signed. So I I've got a free resource for you. It's free. I should be selling it. I'm not. It's free. It's a PDF. It's on outerloopcoaching.com. Uh, depending on when you're going to the website, when you're watching this video, it should still be there, but there's no guarantees. It should be. Go check. Just give me your email address and your first name. I'm happy to send you this free seven-step strategy to getting your band signed. It's not the only strategy to getting signed, but it is an effective strategy. It's been used by artists here at Outer Loop, so I'm happy to share it with you. So go to the website, check that out. All right, so the question is, are indie labels accepting demos? And it's kind of a complicated answer. The truth of the matter is that cold submissions to labels, major indie, doesn't matter. Cold submissions are bad. That means that if you go to your favorite indie label and they got a page on your on their website and it just says, hey, click here to send us a link to your demos and we'll go check it out. Bad, 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 bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. Resist the temptation. Stop. Don't click. Don't do it. Cold submissions are bad. They're not how you want to introduce yourself to a label and have them take you seriously. I'm not even quite sure why indie labels do this. Do some bands get signed this way? Probably, maybe, sort of. Do bands get really great deals? Do their careers grow? Is it the best way to do it? Absolutely not. If you just want a contract and you don't care what the contract says, go right ahead. But if you take your career seriously, do not, do not give a cold submission to a record label of your demo. The key is to get the label to ask you for your demo. Now, the ways that this happens are, there, there's so many, right? Now, one way can be that when you've got somebody who's representing your band, if you've got a manager and they have a pre-existing relationship with that label, then they can go to that label and go, hey, I've got a new artist I'm working with. I think they're awesome. I think you'll think they're awesome. I think their career is going great places. They trust this manager they will go, okay, let's hear it. That is one way to get invited to submit the demo. And you do that through a manager. If you don't have a manager, don't worry about it. There's other ways to do it. If you can try to develop relationships with the labels yourself, and this is something you absolutely can and should do, it can be an online relationship. It can be extremely, extremely uh, distant, polite, but at least they kind of know that you exist. If they're hearing about you from other bands, if you are opening for, up for their artists when they come to your town and you're encouraging and asking those artists that if they love you to mention you to the label, especially if you say, hey, you guys like that deal that you got? How was it going? And they go, we love it. Wow, man, I'd love to have a deal just like that. If you like what we're doing, please tell the people at your label. If they hear about you enough and if the, the artists that you're performing with do like you, do respect you and follow through when they say that they'll talk to the label, the label will start to hear about you. If you talk to your local promoter and say, hey, when you're dealing with the booking agent uh, for any of these gigs and, and you, know, you know that we draw really well and we're trying to find a booking agent, could you please mention us? And you get people to start talking about you in the industry. People advocate for you. They will hear about you that is how you develop a relationship. If you're sending an email every two, three months, sending them numbers saying, hey, look, this is uh, how our Spotify growth is going. Uh, wow, look at this, uh, our video just hit this many views. Uh, if this is happening, that's happening. And just sharing that, no ask, no, just, just sharing to go, hey, thought you'd like to know. Now 
they're going to start to know who you are. Maybe they go to the links that, that you send, maybe not. But eventually, if they hear about you from enough places, if they see enough uh, evidence that your career is growing, they like the story, now they're going to ask you for your demo. They might go, hey, we listen to your recordings that you already have public. What else do you have? Do you have anything you haven't released? That's one way that you get invited to submit your demo. That's an awesome way, an awesome way to get yourself signed. That is a strategy, a strategy to getting signed. So meanwhile, you want to, all right, so just to recap, do not submit your demo to a label cold. Get them to ask you for your demo. All right, second part. Be what a label is looking for. Just be conscientious to develop this with yourself that if getting signed is what you're after, then you want to make yourself into the type of band that is what a label is looking for. So what are the three things I am, this is top three, off the top of my head, creatively exciting. The label wants to get involved with somebody that they think is creatively exciting. Be creatively exciting. There's limitations to that because you still can't be so exciting that people are like, I don't even know what that is. But if you're doing something awesome, then people will want to hear it and they're gonna wanna share it, including the labels that you wanna sign with. So that's creative, exciting. Second thing is being hard working. A label can recognize when you work hard. Even if the results aren't what you might hope for, the label will see that when you are hard working, when you are signed to that label, you will work hard for your shared interests. And they they believe, I'm sure of it, that with their contacts, with their kind of expertise and your hard work, and that's all you can bring to the table besides your creatively exciting stuff, that is going to be magic for them. They do not want to work with artists who don't work hard. The third thing is profitable. You have to be profitable. This is the hardest part of it, right? You can work your butt off and not get anywhere. You can be creatively exciting and not get anywhere. If you're not profitable, most labels aren't going to want to deal with you. If you're not profitable, they the ones that do, you should be scared of, right? So you want to get to the point where you are making more money for your band than your band is costing to be, right? So what that means is that when you go out on a uh, a short little week-long trip just hitting some of the markets around your hometown. When you get home, you've got money in your pocket. If you go into the studio and you record some songs and then you make them available and all the different myriad ways that you try to make them available, when you are done, you paid for the cost of the recording, right? If you start getting all that happening and you get to the point where you're making, wow, a good amount of money, that's when the labels will start calling you. That's when they will be asking you for your demo. If you're making more money than you're spending, it's like magic. Everybody finds out about it. Everybody learns about it. And you know what? Everybody wants some of your money. Now you are in a position to actually negotiate and get yourself a great, great record deal. All right, so that's it. Yeah, that's what a label's looking for. They're looking for somebody hardworking, creatively exciting, and profitable. Make, uh, just wake up every day. And that's, those are your goals. Those are your goals. All right, um, again, so th th these are just, uh, 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 yeah, all I can say is don't, Send your demo to a label cold. You will not get signed, and if you get signed, it'll be to a bad deal almost every time. It's not worth it. Again, I've got a seven-step strategy to getting yourself signed and making it available at outerloopcoaching.com. Visit. Just give, uh, I think it's email address and a uh, first name and you'll get an email. You just go, yep, this is the email and then the PDF comes to you. I promise you'll be there within like an hour or something. It's like five minutes, 10 minutes, I don't know. But then you got a strategy, you can implement it and you can start working towards it every day and you can 
get yourself signed this way. It's not the only strategy, but it's a great strategy and it has worked. And if you don't have a strategy, if you don't have a map to where you want to get to, it's going to take you a long time to get there. All right. So this is Paul from Outer Loop Coaching and OuterloopCoaching.com. Thanks for sticking with me. You're with me this far. Please like the video so other people see it. Hit me with a comment, subscribe, and hit the alert button. And I will see you next time.